and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm actually doing part one, yes, part one of a super drug haul as I ended up ordering more last night. But basically I have this massive box here. Yeah, I've opened it already. I know what's in it. Just to make sure everything was there because I've never ordered from super drug before for one. And they said it might come in separate boxes, but it hasn't. So yeah, I'm going to basically unbox this and show you guys what I bought. Oh, Mainly, I'm going to admit, it is Makeup Revolution haul, but I did buy a few, well, I say a few bits, like one bit that isn't, but I thought I might as well do like a huge makeup slash super drug um, haul because everyone loves these sort of videos. So these I actually picked up when I was in the shop the other day. I treated myself to the Soph Highlighter Palette. Oh my God, I am so glad I picked this up. It is amazing. Like... I have the eyeshadows and you guys know I rave about them. I've also ordered the two lipsticks. I've got cake and I needed syrup and fudge, I think it is. But oh my god, let me just swatch this for you because Soph man, like, you have you have done me good. Like, look at them pigments. I mainly use the gold one out of it at the moment, but there's like you got the more like shimmery ones, and then you got some more like mattified ones that have like less of a glow in them, if that makes sense. But this was eight pound. Highly recommend it. I mean, I am glowing and I'm loving it. This is Soph's palette, by the way, if anyone asking. I also found this for £3 in the, like, damaged product section, but there wasn't really anything wrong with it. Nothing was out of place. There was, like, a tiny bit missing on the corner of this one. And this is the Blush, a Blush Palette Goddess one. And you get, like, highlights at the top and the blush at the bottom. And I did need some new blushes because I don't have any. This is originally £6, but it's so nice. I'll swatch some of the blush ones and the highlight one. I love in this. Look at that golden highlight. I love Revolution's golden highlights like that. I live for their, like, strobing balm ones and their, like, powder ones. But, yeah, I literally am so pleased I managed to pick this up. It was definitely worth it because I'm loving the blushes too. So, repurchase here, guys. I have, I have empties, which I'm keeping because I want to do an empties video at some point. I picked up the Revolution Conceal and Define Foundation again because you guys know I love this. And I said I was going to pick one up soon. I also got one a shade darker because I felt I looked really washed out. So, I went for F2 instead of F1. Now, it's getting a little bit warmer and my skin's starting to, like, change colour again. And I also got the concealer as well. This was £4. It's three for two in Super Drug at the moment on all makeup, by the way, guys. And I got mine in C2. I like mine a little bit lighter to con like conceal my brows and my under eye and all of that. But this is £9. This is four. They are so worth picking up. And honestly, you don't actually need the concealer with it. But, like, I mean, if you're going on a night out and stuff and you want to wear it to set it under your eyes, then, yeah, go for it. But normally I just literally use this and powder to set it in place. But, oh, my God. They are amazing. I am so warm in here. Oh, but I can't open a window because it's too noisy if not. I also got treated to this by Mal for our six months. It is the So Stardust Shimmer Body Spray. It smells amazing. Oh my God. And it's glittery. Like, what more could you want? It's so pretty. They also do another one, but Stardust smells the best. I just literally can't get over the shimmer in it. This is going to be perfect for over, like, spring slash summertime because I love, like, shimmer sprays. And I'm pretty sure my actual one from Skinny Dip is running out. So I picked this one up. And if I love this enough, I'm definitely going to try the other one as well. I mean, you've been waiting for. On to the box. They actually sent me a free daily moisturising lotion. I have never tried Aveeno's, like, moisturisers or anything. So anyone let me know what these are like in the comments because I haven't tried these. So I'm feeling trying this because I have quite dry skin. So, oh, that's a really cute free gift. Right, this one's already come out. This is Wishful. This was the Makeup Revolution one. I think I got this for like 90p or a pound. And oh my God, I love their rose gold packaging. I'm going to swatch this for you because it's such a nice color and it's very nude. And you guys know I love a nude color, but oh my God, that's so nice. I literally can't wait to wear all these. Um, going more into lipsticks again, I am going to be doing a declutter. If you want to see me do that on like, I don't know, YouTube, let me know. So I'm going to just lucky dip. Oh, I also picked up the Revolution Focus and Fix Eye Primer. Now, I've never really tried any of their eye products apart from the eyeshadow. And I feel like this is going to be really good. This was like £1.50 and I kind of need a new one because my Too Faced one's running out. 
and that's really expensive so I thought I'd try a drugstore one it looks like concealer but I'll do a first impressions video if you'd like one of me using these bits of makeup and yeah I'm gonna try and get all the lipsticks out but I don't know how well this is gonna go I also picked up another one these were literally like a pound also go on Revolution site because they have so much more than super drug and I worked that out after I did this order funnily enough so this is why I've done another order this is the shade You Are Beautiful. It is the more mattifying ones. I think these are, I don't know if these are the extra matte ones. No, these ones aren't. But I know they do them in similar packaging to this. So this was a lot of a, more of a pale nude. I don't know if you guys can see that on camera. I really like it and I feel like it's going to go with quite a lot of makeup looks I'm going to do. I'm just going to pop that up there. Yes, Theo was being a monkey. Come here then. Go and say hi. Look how big he's getting. Say hi. He's so hyper again. It's playtime for you, isn't it? Go on then. <laughs> He's so cute. So the next thing I picked up, I really wanted this for ages, and everyone said, I was like, where can I get a liquid white liner from? Because Rimmel's is crap, no offense Rimmel, but it literally did nothing for me, honestly. So my friend Sasha recommended I try Makeup Revolution. She's heard it's really good, so let's give this a go. Okay, I can work with things like this. I do a lot of different makeup looks, so I feel like I should probably get a white liner now. Do you know what? That's actually come out of my hand straight away with the Rimmel one. It took a while, and it was a thick, like, the pen one, and it just didn't really come out unless you used it sideways and sort of proper pushed on it. But that's actually come out really well, and this was £3. Can you guys see that white line? Okay, that sounded great, white line. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know if it, like, I don't know if it dries. Oh, it does dry. But I'm quite pleased with that. I'll let you guys know the results when I use it in a makeup look. The next one I'm going to go with, ooh. This is the Revolution Lip Topper. Now, I love sort of glossy lips at the moment, but I thought I'd get a glittery one or a shimmery one. And this is, oh my god, what shade is this? Exquisite. They have a rose gold one, but I thought I'd go for a lighter one because I'll see my lipsticks are more nude. I'm going to swatch this at the top. What should I do on my hand? I'm going to do it on my hand. I don't know if you guys will be able to see it because it's very sheer, but it is like obviously lip gloss but it's got like a topper over it um it's like an iridescent silver i don't know if you guys can see that i've literally put it here but it's so gorgeous like the packaging as well oh my god i might actually have to go in and get the rose gold one as well i'm going to take the hairband off because that's kind of gross but i think i'm going to have to get the rose gold one as well that one was around one pound or one pound fifty so definitely recommend trying them out first bag guys thought i'd let you know so this is the Re makeup revolution Skinny Dip Nude Collection Lip Gloss. So I wanted to try some more lip glosses. Yeah, ignore Theo, he's going mad again. I think it's just going to be a regular thing in my videos now. Um, oh my god, this gloss is quite dark. I do actually have a lip colour like this from Colourpop called... Oh my god, what is it called? I don't actually know. But it's so dark, but I think that will be really nice with like a nude eye or something. I'm feeling that. And these were like £2 each, I think. Yeah, I think these were £2 each. I've never tried Revolution's glosses, so let me know in the comments what you think of them. But I had to literally go and throw the ball for the cat because he thinks it's fun to play ball when I'm filming. I also got the Revolution London, I think this is a gloss as well. Yeah, this one's in stripped. It's more of a nude one, as you can see. The packaging is so simple, but it's so nice. Okay, I'm just going to swatch this. Ignore the like, cut on my hand because that's just a scar and it's just not going anywhere. I say it's more of a nude one, like compared to like it looks really light in the packaging. It's actually more of a brown tone. It's really nice though, like I'm not complaining, but the packaging looks so different, but I do really like it. I think I'll be wearing that one a lot as well because I love my brown tones at the moment. Guys, I think this is another lipstick. Yep, this one is another gloss in buff. This one is definitely more of a nude one. Um, I did want some more nude lip glosses because all of mine are mainly soap and glory and they're kind of lip plumpers and that's just... A bit unfair on Mel, <laughs> on her behalf of her having stinging lips for no reason. Um, this is the shade that's come out like, I really like this. I think this one's going to be the main one to use. I'm loving gloss, like gloss is such a thing nowadays. Like, I actually, I've got matte on today, yeah I know. But I thought of, I don't know, I feel like I should just buy more gloss. Do they have a smell? Some lip glosses have a smell, thinking of that. They smell quite nice, actually. I can't explain how, but I think lip glosses always smell really nice. Okay, so from the last bit of this bag. Oh my god, I forgot I bought this one. Uh, <laughs> this is the Revolution uh, Rose Gold Ingot Highlighter. I used to have the silver one, and that, funnily enough, went missing when I had friends stay around, which happens quite a lot. Not anymore, obviously, because, you know, I got rid of all them snaky friends. 
anyway, this is what it looks like. It's like a, it literally looks like a gold bar that you see in a movie. And they do a gold one, obviously a silver one. I went for rose gold because I weren't feeling like white silver because I already have one from Revolution. So I thought I'd go with rose gold because I don't actually really have a pink toned highlighter anymore. Um, apart from my MUA one. You have to, like, oh my god, it feels really creamy, but it's not creamy. It is powder, guys, so you don't worry. Oh my god, it's such a, like, it is really pigmented. I'm going to try and, like, swatch it on my hand. It's really pigmented. Oh god, I got it on my nail. It's really pigmented. I've literally put it, like, here. But I feel like it's got, you need to rub off, like, the first layer before you use it. But this one was £2, which is still really, really good. Like, honestly, all of this, by the way, it came to under £15, which is amazing. So let's get on with the next bag. Back, I am playing ball again. Oh, my God. So I just noticed this white liner hasn't budged off my hand. Like, look, I'm rubbing it, and it's not really coming off. So, guys, if you want a white liner, try Makeup Revolutions. And for £3, you can't go wrong. So I picked up two lipsticks. I think these sort of just fell out. Um... Oh my god, it's like the beginning again. Um, this one is Expose. This is also a matte one. Um, this is from the Iconic one, I think it's called. It's very, very nude, but it's got like a peach undertone to it. I'm re swatching. Yes, I tried to rub it off and it won't come off. I like that one. I think these were all still a pound to a pound fifty. This one's the extra matte ones. They are matte ish, but these are like matte matte, if that makes any sense. Oh, this is Game of Mystery Matte. Um, this one's really nude as well, so I'm feeling that, like, I'm trying to get rid of some nude lipsticks to add on more because I'm that sad. But I really like them too, I feel like they're gonna be some daily ones as well. Okay, so I just realised I actually put everything from, uh, Superdrug in that bag. Um, I didn't use the second bag in the end, I changed them all into one bag so it's easier. But that was literally everything I picked up, I'm so pleased. And considering it was all under £15, because they have free for two on, they had a sale on. I don't know if these items are being discontinued, so I'd get on their site while you can. Also, try Makeup Re Revolution site, because I didn't know they own Makeup Obsession and their highlights, oh my god. I recommend Pop and Ice if you get on their site, and their eyeshadows are really pigmented. And they're like 50 pig. And Revolutions ones are like 50p for the singular ones. So get on their site. Go check them out. I hope you guys enjoyed part one. Don't forget to subscribe for part two. And I'll see you guys in my next video.